Yeah, I'll, I'll do my best here. Um, congratulations to North Carolina. Uh, first time I've been here, played here, and um, tremendous program. Uh, great leadership with uh, Coach Forbes. They have great players. Um, we held the trophy last year, and you know I am as equally proud of my team and our program today as I was that day. And um, you know where we were, you know, middle of SEC play, SEC play uh, to right now is um, one of the most gratifying, you know, uh, coaching years of my entire life. And um, I love these guys. Um, the achievement, the accomplishment. I mean, that's obviously what we're here to do. Uh, literally means nothing to me. Um, it, I have a broken heart just simply because I wanted to go to practice on Wednesday. And uh, I love these guys. I mean, this this is special right here, what this young man did tonight. Um, he's an elite pitcher. Somebody should sign him. If anybody in professional baseball is paying attention, they'll sign Will Helmers. Um, but last year he wasn't even on the roster in Omaha. But you're allowed the 40-person deal and – um, you can figure out who the first person you know I would put on there as an extra was Will because of what he means to our team and our program. Um, in true team fashion, never one time in the three years that I've known him asked what was in it for him or status or anything. It was all about LSU baseball and, and our program. And um, he's probably the best example of what we want to be about, what being a man is all about. And um, I'm certainly proud of him and, and proud of our team. Um, this was, a, I'll never forget this week, the rest of my life. Um, and um, congratulations again to North Carolina, but broken heart tonight. Thanks, Coach. We'll go to questions. Sorry, I'm here. Uh, Will, obviously, not the ending you want, but to step into a tough situation like that and to do what you did with that gold jersey on, how much did that moment mean to you walking off the mound after what you did today? You know, it's the past four years have meant so much to me, and I guess kind of going out like that. It, obviously, nobody wants to walk away with you know tears in their eyes and a broken heart, but it means a lot to me to, to just give us a chance um, in those four or five innings I threw, and, and that's all I was trying to do. I was just give us a chance because whoever we turned it over to, I had the utmost confidence in, and, and I can engage, and there's nobody else. Um, you know, in the world that I want to, you know, come on the backside of that game. Um, and so it means the world to me to, to wear this gold jersey with, you know, LSU um, cause on the front. You know, it's not about the name on the back. It's about the name on the front. You know, it says Tigers across our chest. And, you know, that's what it really means um, to, to me. It's just I'm a Tiger for life. Absolutely. Coach, how will you remember this season? Uh, just as I said, um, you know, I've been fortunate enough to be a part of great teams and go a little further than this. Um, but my, my heart's full right now. Um, like I said, I'm sad. I'm really sad. You know, um, I'd give anything to practice on Wednesday and get ready for a Super Regional at home. Um, but it's because of, of these guys. Um, the resiliency, um, you know, it's, I mean, you coach long enough, you can understand maybe why we were where we were a little better than the average person. Um, but to come out of it, like, nobody does that. And to take, you know, they might win it. They, they have the pieces to win the national title. They're built for the ballpark at Omaha. Um, they do a terrific job coaching. And um, we're, we're right there, you know. I mean, if we got a check swing, strike three, there's two outs right there. We don't get to extra innings. And I don't know if it was or it wasn't, but uh, it's that close. And when you're on the road, um, against a great opponent, it's a small margin for error. But in terms of how I'll remember this, um, I'm good. I got all the peace in the world right now about what these guys did, and I'm so proud of them. Well, you come with Danny, you, you know what it means. You know, Skip did and Paul did with Louisiana kids. Uh, what does it mean to be the guy that had the moment today to get your story? I mean, it's a fun story, I guess. You could look back a few years, but. Uh, yeah, it, it's it's not about me uh, at all. It's about this team and, and what this team did throughout the year. Uh, I think that's exactly the answer that Skip and Coach Maneri and Coach Johnson would agree with. Um, it's about this team, and that's that's the bottom line. Um, 
You know, this team got hit in the face and got back up every single time. And I think that's the most important part. Um, being from Louisiana, that's great. And obviously, LSU means a lot to me. Um, but this team means, you know, even more. And the way we went out, the way the season went, obviously, you know, you start the season with three wins and however many losses, and here you are, you know, you know, a call away from going to a super regional at the box and two wins away from Omaha. And um, yeah, it means the world to me. What made Dalton Pitts so tough for you guys? Yeah, he's really good. Like I said, they have the pieces out of the bullpen. I mean, we knew, I mean, we showed three pitchers on video tonight going into the game of who we were going to play in four uh, to the team, and it was these three guys. Um, he's got an elite arm. Um, you know, the, the right fastball, I mean, he can really throw it where he wants to, uh, up, down, both sides of the plate. And then, um, you know, his secondary stuff was, was good enough tonight to, to get us off of that. And um, he made it really hard. You know, that's why we were trying – I mean, obviously, we were trying to win the game in nine innings because he, he wasn't he wasn't given anything. Jay, your team obviously played on the biggest stage last season out in Omaha, but – the two games between these two teams the last couple of nights, I mean, it's been pretty befitting of some high caliber, you know, tournament baseball. Oh, yeah. So. Yeah. And, um, hey, you, you got to put somebody somewhere. Like, uh, this is just, um, if we didn't play this week, we probably would have played next week, you know, um, and somebody would have had to lose. Um, I, I Again, I, I'm honored to be a part of a game like that. I'm honored to be a part of a regional like this. And, um, like I said, um, my whole life is built around Omaha and getting these guys there. And, and literally, like, the College World Series only meant, like, we could keep doing what we were doing, you know, because it, it was – there was something incredibly special about it. And um, yeah, it's this hard right now. And, um, you know, again, like, it's not about putting another banner up or any of that. It's like this I, – I would – that did not want to step out of this deal that we had going on in our lives right now. Yeah, Coach, just kind of how this game encapsulates the past month and a half for you guys, you know, piecing together things, guys just finding a way to give yourself a chance to win. Do you feel that tonight? Yeah. I mean, outside of maybe one more hit, you know, we had a guy in third with two outs in the first. Um, I think there was a guy in second in the fourth or the fifth, you know, with two outs to maybe get a little bit more of a spread to put a little more pressure, you know, on them. Um, but I mean, he was unbelievable. <laughs> like, I mean, we left them in just, I did not think they were seeing him very well. And then, um, you know, I, 71 pitches got to be a career high. Um, obviously uh, you might've thrown more at South Carolina last year. Um, and talk about a story, you know, we're leaving them in to save the rest of the, the team when we're getting beat 13 to four or something like that. To this tonight, um, and then I, I felt great about where we were. I thought Nate was a completely different look than him, and I thought—I mean, Gage is completely different than, than both of them. And we'd set this plan in motion before we came here that that's what we would do, and they executed. You know, I mean, Gallagher got it going, so there's no way we were going to let him beat us. You know, again, right there, um, and you credit um, Madera for staying on the ball and, and putting the ball in play, and it was just like. The whole game there at the end, we, like we were this close. I mean, if we don't, I, I don't, I don't know what happened on the fly ball or the line drive. Ball was scorched. I don't know what happened, but like if that's caught, we're in the dugout. It's a different deal. I mean, they have to play, and let's say everything else plays the same, they have to play tighter to be able to throw them out on a ball hit. And Josh's ball gets over his head, and we're in a super regional, and it's just that thin. But I, I, I'm good because of how we prepared and how we competed. Will, you're one of the more trusted leaders on this team, guys like you, guys like Hayden, guys like Josh. What's the message you leave for some of the younger guys, Jake, Ashton, Steven? What's the message you leave for those guys as you move on from the program and they start to step into the leadership roles? Right. Uh, you know, but I think the message is just look on the field. Um, you know, that's a blast they're having. And they're a great team. They're an awesome team. You get some real competitors, but that's where you want to be. And I think, you know, the guys coming up in this program have, you know, that platform and can do that every year.
Um, and so, you know, to leave them with, if I have to leave them with anything, it's just keep going, keep competing like we did this year. That's that's the model um, of, of compete. And, you know, there, there haven't been a team that's a part of a team that's, you know, come together so well, um, you know, just through the ups and the downs. It's been a roller coaster. And, uh, you know, this team has competed like hell. And for those younger guys, it's it's a matter of just staying with that and continuing that. Aaron, last question. Yeah, we just kind of hit on that a little bit. I mean, you guys have both talked about, you know, the adversity three, twelve, whatever. From a perspective of just a senior, you know, older leader on this team, I mean, how, how did, like, you shed some light on how exactly that, that came together? I mean, you tell them coming together, like, well, how do you do that when you're facing that kind of hole? It's, you know, obviously we, we dug ourselves into a hole and, you know, it's a matter of, you know, getting with coaches and other players, other leaders, Travinsky, Malazzo, all these all these different guys that we have on our team have been through this before. Like my freshman year, we were three and nine, um, you know, starting the SEC and, you know, kind of maneuvering through that. And, you know, I had a kind of platform that, you know, we've been through that before and those guys had too, but, you know, getting with Coach Johnson and all the rest of our coaching staff, those are the best leaders that we could ever look on. And uh, they gave us the model for for winning. And, um, you know, we you know we ended up putting into the action there at the end of the season. And I think that's kind of what we relied on. Good, Johnson. Well, thank you so much. Thank you.